I'm rolling with bankers, gangsters, presidents and wangsters, motherfucking ask it. I don't need a tasket, I just get the casket, like a fucking basket, take it and you ask it, got a grip on your ass of cancer, motherfuckers alley wrong answer, got a grip on your ass of cancer, I'm a killer, a thriller, fresher than the motherfucking realist, what you know about the truth, I already bill it, I pay it, I make it, I motherfucking take it, break it down, sell it by the pound, you know I get it from the ground, it's of the greatest worth, don't get it twisted, I'm gifted, motherfucker better know I'm the truth, swinging for the fence like my boy Babe Ruth, I tell the truth every time, this is not a fucking rhyme, this is my story, this is what I do, don't worry, mom, I'm gonna be fine, I'm chillin', I'm just a little fucked up off the wine, I wine and dine the hoes, take this girl for granted, show her, no pantyhose, what's up, I'm a pro, get the dope, get the fucking runner, Hit the game, cause I already wanna. So when'd you start rhyming? When I was like this big. <laughs> like that big. <laughs> just, I mean, innately. I always love rhyming. Yeah. I never, I, I, I just recently started writing shit down. So like what I like to do is like, I just like to spit and then like record it and then listen to it and then take bits and pieces from my freestyles and put them together. And like I'm, I'm working with a guy named Wayne Wilkins who's sending me beats. Okay. Amazing producer. He's from London. And um, what's up, boy? And uh, you know, I mean, I'm just really excited about you know. The, Wayne Wilkins. Work. Yeah, Wayne Wilkins. He's you know incredible, incredible guy. Classically trained pianist. Uh, and I'm also going to be working with a guy named Josh Sugar, who is going to, you know, I mean, he's going to be one of the most up and coming pop stars out there. He's phenomenal, amazing, amazing artist, yeah. you know. And he's also under, you know, Wayne Wilkins' guidance. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I mean, I just have all the faith in him in the world. I want to be on both sides, you know, promotional, yeah. production aspects. Like, I'm reading a book by Donald Passerman right now, a phenomenal book called All There Is to Know About the Music Business. Mm -hmm. And it, it's like just a, a life lesson, you know? Where are the boys? <laughs> okay, so my number one philosophy in life is putting yourself out there, you know? A lot of people restrict themselves from the people that live in the world around them. I don't care where you live, where you go. You know, it's very important to meet as many people. Like, for instance, me meeting this guy last night. It's not chance. Think about how many people have walked the face of the earth, you know? That's what think is. about how many people have walked the face of the earth. Think about where you are, think about what brought you to that place. Every time I get into a taxi, I try and learn something from them. There's nobody too stupid in this world that you can't learn something from. That's my number one competency. My number two competency is giving back. Karma, shit, I'm, co I'm covered in that shit. It's my bulletproof armor, you know? Like, if you make a change in somebody's life, that, for some reason, ignites passion, energy. I mean, you can feel it. It's palpable, man. It's palpable. Like, it's 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 the number one thing, you know, as far as putting yourself out there and meeting people and doing nice things for people and creating opportunities. You know, that's my mission in life. And it, and it all comes back to you know my my parents and my upbringing and, and also growing up, you know, in, 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 in an unbiased, no no preconceptions. You know, a family that just just loves people for people. And if you don't love people for people, and you look at somebody and you see color, or you look at somebody and you see poor, or you see ugly, well then fuck you. Because I look at people and I see a person. A person from God, a person that is on this earth. And you know, I mean, if you can't respect that, you can't respect shit.